Hello everyone, welcome back, Stefan here for another French recipe and this week we are making a simple family dish which is the moule au gratin or in English the mussel and mushroom bake. I can see that a lot of you sometimes text me or message me telling me that they've been to France and they've seen some recipe and they got the nostalgia of like they want to get that taste back from France and it's exactly what we're going to try to do today. So look at these, it's going to be some mushrooms of course, fresh mussels and most important I'm going to be using a white one which is a pinot Blanc. Pinot Blanc is actually the equivalent of the Pinot Noir, but it is the white version and it is from the Alsace region. It is the perfect pairing wine for seafood. Now let's have a look at the recipe. Alright guys, let's cook. So today our uh, recipe is going to go in three steps. We're going to do first the mussels in a marinara style, then we're going to do a garnish of mushroom and after that we're going to make our mussel velouté or shellfish velouté. So to start off high heat, big pan, you melt the butter, all the ingredients will be listed in the video description and I will post it on my website, thefrenchcookingacademy.com. You start with your butter, you add in the mix of shallots and parsley in your pan. Okay, so I'll show you how it looks like. So remember it's high heat. Make sure everything is nice and fragrant. All right, this is your mix, it's not burned. One minute later, you take your mussels that have been cleaned before, everything in the pan, okay? Big stir. So you stir, or whatever you call it in English. And this is to coat everything. With the mussels. All right, when everything is nicely coated with the herbs, you're gonna add your portion of shellfish stock and the wine. It's all in the video description. When you got this in, you mix well. Give it a shake and immediately you cover. Now this is gonna have to be in there just for a few minutes. We're not really cooking the mussel, we're just opening the shells to slightly slightly cook the mussels because they're gonna cook later on in the velouté. Done. A few minutes in, I turn my heat off and all your mussels, as you can see, like this one, they're nice and open and slightly cooked. That's exactly what you want, nothing more. Last step, you take one of those, take a bowl, and you delicately basically take all of your mussels out and put them in a container as we're gonna remove the mussel from the shells. Perfect, so our mussels are already done. You see how fast that was. And we're gonna concentrate now on preparing the taste for our velouté for later on. So that beautiful juice that we have, don't throw it away of course. Huh? I'm gonna pass it for that little fine mesh, little Houston sauce over here. Huh? And if there's a bit of sand at the bottom like I can see coming there, I'm not gonna put everything in. I'm just filtering the essence of the juice. And that's gonna be my base, my stock that I'm gonna use my velouté. It's gonna be delicious. Can you imagine we've already made marinière mussel in just a few minutes? This is really how fast French cooking can go. But anyway, for that recipe, we're gonna have to be patient and take each of the mussels, take them out of the shells, and gently kind of cut them off and put them in another container. So you repeat the process with all of your mussels, and that's gonna be what we're gonna be using for our beautiful bake. All right, so our mussels are done and they're already nice and juicy. And now we're going to be concentrating on making the second thing, which is the mushroom garnish. Start with butter on low heat. I'm just going to melt everything in. When the butter is melted, you add a portion of shallots. Ingredients are in the video description, remember. And you're going to let them sweat just for a few minutes. Okay, well you got a nice smell of shallots. It smells beautiful. You're going to add your white wine. Deglaze. High heat. And we're going to let the wine reduce until it's almost dry. Done. Look, it's almost dry, it's almost reduced. You can see, you can see the shallot fruit. There's still a little bit of sauce, maybe like one tablespoon. And now I'm going to pour in my mushrooms. So these are uh, button mushrooms, like these ones, okay, that I've just trimmed off and put in the food processor to really get finely, finely, finely chopped. 
And see here, you make sure you mix everything nicely. We're gonna season with a little bit of salt, not too much. A bit of lemon juice, just to conserve the color of the mushrooms. You don't want them to go too black. And I'm gonna wait until all of the vegetation water of the mushroom is gone. Okay, so I mentioned vegetation water and this is exactly it. You see your mix turns into a big sludge. It's normal. It's the water from the mushroom that's uh, coming out. So we're going to leave this on low heat until all of the water evaporates so we can have a dry mix at the end. All right, done. So the process can take 15 minutes. And when do you know when it's ready? Basically, can you hear this? That's what I call the chant. It's chanting and it's making that little noise. So when it's here, turn your heat off. And the final touch is to add a little bit of fresh parsley. And you're done. You've actually made what we call a duxel de champignon. Huh? A mushroom duxel, which is a, a reduction of a thinly sliced mushroom in shallot, butter and white wine. It is a technical uh, garnish we use a lot in French cooking and I will be covering this in my next video when we're going to be making stuffed mushrooms. So I didn't, didn't cover it in details, but we'll cover this later. All right, so we've done our mushrooms, we've done our mussels and the last step is to make our uh, velouté. So we're going to melt our butter and again mix this with some shallots so same process as before we're just gonna sweat the shallot in the butter okay after a minute or so you put the white wine and we're gonna again let it reduce so go back on medium heat and we're gonna reduce this by a third okay when it's reduced you're gonna put about 200 ml of the cooking juices from the mussel and 200 ml of shellfish stock. This is a stock I've bought off the shelf. Huh? It's nothing fancy, but it's gonna have that great shellfish flavor. When you're here, you go by on medium to high heat and we're gonna leave this again to reduce by a third. Okay, when your sauce has reduced, you can taste it. All right, perfect. It should have a nice sharp shellfish flavor. You then add the cream and you would have guessed again we're gonna have to reduce the sauce once more. Okay done so this is reduced enough you're gonna switch the spoon to a whisk and we're gonna finally go to our last stage which is the thickening. I'm using here a beurre manier which is like a root basically the same amount of flour and butter mixed together by hand and I'm going to use this to thicken my sauce so I can definitely control. So I'm going to start by putting little bits. It's really up to you. There's no real measurement for that. So you're going to keep basically incorporating uh, your beurre manier. You can also use corn flour if you want until you reach a really thick consistency that's thick enough to hold the muscle into the mix. Okay, so I'll take you back on the camera when it's done. All right, so this is the consistency I've chosen to go for. You see? It's really like a bechamel style, like a thick bechamel that's gonna stick to the ingredients. And the final touch here is to add some more flavors by adding the mushrooms and the mussels. So mushrooms, again, that's up to you if you want something very mushroomy, if you want something less mushroomy, so you can see this beautiful mix of mushroom that I'm going to steer through. And then I'm going to add some, or maybe all, you know, we do a family style. Let's add all of the mussels in and very gently, we're just going to incorporate everything in there. So that's it, that's done. I'm going to put this in a dish dress it up and broil it in the oven and now let's dress up these little beauties now when you make this type of dish it is extremely easy to dress up when you've got your mix with the mussels and everything you're just gonna take a spoon 
and you put a little bit of the mix remember that's just some kind of a little starter so you don't want to overdo it but and on top if you want you can put cheese I personally prefer to put breadcrumbs and I'm gonna put this under the broiler for just a few minutes until it's nicely coated and nicely brown all right guys look at this our mussel and mushroom bake is out of the oven in French is the gratin de moule and it looks absolutely delicious of course I've uh, had to make a few pictures so I've prepped it up a little bit but it doesn't look bad and would you look at these creamies I've just digged in a little bit but I'll show you the mix of hmm breadcrumbs mussels and that hint of sauce it's just coating the muscle nicely you see so it's purely a muscle dish absolutely beautiful and that mushroomy taste i'm amazed how mushroomy that thing is mm, it's really really good look at that look at these layers and it's muscle by muscle you're gonna go for a dish like that bang 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 mm. sorry i'm addicted no I'm going a bit crazy there. Um, yeah, no, it's good. Honestly, very good. It's a nice little bake to do at home. And it's a beautiful combination of the mushroom, the velouté, and this beautiful kind of shellfish uh, taste. I absolutely love it. But that's it for the day, guys. I'm out. Next week, join me again. Where we're going to be doing a vegetarian dish, actually. We're going to look at how to make stuffed mushroom, another beautiful tasty dish. So I hope you enjoyed that recipe. It's a bit long-winded again, but definitely worth the try. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.